Hey guys, thought I'd do a walk around video in between rain showers. Just kind of show you how we set things up for this trip. We're at Dunes Harbor Campground up by Silver Lake, Michigan. Um, we're near Hart and Mears area. So a couple of things my wife picked up. She picked up these little foam boxes. I believe they're at Myers. We'll put a link down. She found them on Amazon too. But uh, these things work slick just for holding little small things. They tuck right in here and they fit 100% secure. They're an the exact fit. So they don't slide around when you travel. I've had no issues with losing stuff or having it move side to side. And they're a little bit pliable. They're kind of a fabric material. So on the inside, one of the things I didn't want while sleeping was to have the voltage meter here. Um, I'm sensitive to light and I need it completely dark. So I'll, I'll drop a link in the uh, description, but we found this quick charging setup, on off button. I can turn it on and see my voltage without a problem. And this is quick charge 3.0, great addition. Only took a couple of minutes to swap it out from the standard one this way at nighttime. I can have it on during the day, even with the cover down, I can see the voltage. And then bedtime, you can turn the light out. That's nice. Love that feature. Another little thing we added was short charging cords. So they don't hang and hang all over the inside of the trailer. You can plug in your phone and you can set it literally right here. Now you just have a short little run and you don't have this big long cord drooping down. These things work out real well. So another little camping hack was we bought a five pack of these suction cups. You can get them on Amazon, link in the description. Um, these are pretty slick. So when you pull up, as you can see, it's supporting our trash without a problem. Um, but when you pull up, that's what locks this down. So as you pull down, just locks it in place. Put these anywhere, hang coats, jackets, anything you want. We've been putting little dish rags and towels off them. Works great. So in my galley area, we're kind of playing around with configurations. Um, removing one of these while traveling. Uh, well, with traveling, it's nice to have all these boxes in here to have stuff. We have them labeled. That works out really, really well to, have, to know what product you have where. But then what we're discovering is when you get to camp, it's nice to remove one of them. So if you remove one of them, it's easier to slide these left to right to be able to get one of them out. It makes it a lot easier. So just take one out and we put that in the truck. And then we can move stuff around. And for right now, the paper towel lives there, but we'll come up with something for that in the future. So one thing I like to do is have multi-purpose gear, things that can do other things. Uh, probably never guessed this one. But this is the galley, the pass through into the uh, center. So at nighttime, we're open these up. I've got a pillow on the other side, so it's not opening fully. We just take this fry pan, tip it upside down, creates a platform to raise it above the slip. This is all we use to heat that trailer. That's all we needed to heat this trailer. This is 200 watts. This will not over exceed my surge protector, which is very important not to run 1500 watts through a surge protector. So the hiker just has that. So we take this guy, put it on here. Set it on top, aim it to the inside, turn it on. We let that warm up before we get into bed. We got into bed, turn it off overnight. Didn't need it running because it heats up the space too much. And then turned it on in the morning just for wake up time. This worked great. $8 at Walmart or you can find it on Amazon. So moving to the door. The outside here used a command hook that has one of the, it's designed for cords, cord management. Kind of neat, didn't even know they made these until my wife came home with it. So you can take that off. I took a piece of glow cord 
This is uh, uh, made by Sterling and it had a little slip knot in it. And I used, I think it's a number one night, night size, the S Beaner. I think it's a number one. Um, anyway, yep, it is number one. So take this, swing it around, open the door fully. And then where the H and T is cut into the side, I can show you. The H and T is cut into the side. These things are awesome for attaching hooks and accessories. So I just ran the rope and connect the S beer to right here. And that holds my door open. So no chance that the wind's gonna catch it if we have a windy day. But then I can just take this cord and I loop it up, and I put it on my cord manager, and it's always there, always ready to deploy in case the wind kicks up. One thing that's valuable to learn is how to tie knots. This is just a simple slip knot that I use, so I can literally just slide this up or slide this down to adjust the glow cord. So I purchased this separately, it didn't come with my awning. Um, but this has a reflective stripe in it or a little dot in it. So when hit by a flashlight or a headlamp, it lights up really well in the dark. And then another thing to quickly attach and detach from the awning, I just bought a 12 pack of these little carabiners so I can quickly take these, slide them through the loop and I'm good to go. I can quickly um, attach the cordage and get it in the ground. So, for this camping tip, um, when you have the door open, you've got a place for insects to enter. Now, we purposely had a closed top and a closed bottom for insect reasons, so we can keep the door open and not have to worry about anything flying into the cabin. So with that, you have a chance for bugs to get in through here, through the cracks. So we came up with a little hack, we've got a piece of no see -em. This is just no seam insect stuff, and uh, my wife took a piece of half inch uh, gross cane. Gross? Gross cane? I think they call it. Anyway, and uh, she sewed that on, and then just put some Velcro tabs on so she's going to demonstrate and attach it. So, with that, no more bugs. It seals it up real well, and you have less likely chance of having bugs enter in your cabin, but still have the ability to have a nice pass through when you want it. So one nice accessory that we added to the back here, near the galley door, was a Alps Mountaineering dining room table. Um, there's the dimensions right there, 28 by 43 by 28. 12 pounds. It folds up in the small little bag. Works really well. The top kind of rolls back. The legs collapse in. So, nice little addition. You can literally you know, use it as a dining room table for people around it, play cards, anything. And you don't have to worry about it getting wet. Um, being aluminum just wipes right off. Looks great.